If you were gonna update this little camera, what would you do? This is the Osmo Action 2. What would it look like? Would it look like this? This is the Osmo Action 3. That confuses me. What happens when you go from thinking out of the box to making your home in there? Well, we'll have several weeks to find out when we spend some time with the Action 3. In a world controlled by GoPro, DJI took a decidedly different approach with the launch of the Action 2 last year. The Action 2 was a diminutive powerhouse that still pushed 4K up to 120 frames per second and easily fit in the palm of your hand. The Action 3, on the other hand, seems to be pursuing, well, none of those things, though it still comes in under the size of the GoPro Hero 11. The problem is, and I don't necessarily want to even call this a problem, so let's call it a challenge. The challenge is to find out exactly what the Action 3 is going for here. Who's the target audience? Is it the aspiring vlogger that was attracted to the previous generation, or is DJI simply using the existing brand to mount a direct assault on the king of action cameras? For my part, I hope there's more to the story. All right, so we're gonna go pick this thing up and uh, see what it's all about. One of the things that I really like about the action too is exactly this scenario. Like if I'm gonna walk into a store and I want to not jam a camera in somebody's face, 11 a.m. We are going to uh, have to go somewhere else. Let's get a coffee. You know, you can kind of place it down and it is uh, magnetic and you can get a pretty good view no matter what, uh, just using the little battery compartment that, that it has on it. Uh, so from just a vlogging perspective, it's super easy. It's like whatever the least intrusive thing that I can do for other people uh, is the best for me because you don't want people feeling uncomfortable. Uh, also, this will give you an idea on the action too, what the, um, the audio is like, and we're right up against the road, so it's really, really loud. Right out of the box, you can tell that DJI put some effort into build quality with the Osmo Action 3. You're immediately graded with a large 1 over 1.7 inch sensor that has a 155 degree ultra wide lens. It can produce 4K video up to 120 frames per second and up to 240 frames per second in 2.7K. One of the best features of the Action 3 is the magnetic quick release mount system and we will be putting that to good use in our upcoming review. Again, this channel isn't about specs. There are plenty of videos out there that detail every little item that this camera can do. We want to know if this is going to get the job done for the average person in the real world. And for me, I want to know if it can replace my GoPro Hero 11 as one of only two cameras that I use to film my entire YouTube channel with weekly episodes. So just so everyone's aware, we are, and when I say we, I mean me, fucking flies alone on top of a mountain. Like somewhere in my head, I envisioned that would be a good shot, like, I don't know. Uh, we're here in a bunch of rocks that are inevitably filled with rattlesnakes, trying to get a product shot of this DJI Action 3 and that sunset. I am confident that it's going to be really good, but if I should not make it, the footage is on the phone, so, you know, like, harvest it and watch it. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel, because this is the shit I do for you. This is just a quick first look at the new Osmo Action 3 from DJI. In the coming weeks, we're going to put it up against the GoPro Hero 11 and the Google Pixel 7 Pro and find out if it can replace either of them. We'll be using the Action 3 just like you would in the real world, and we'll wrap it all up with a road trip review before moving on to the next device. Hope you'll subscribe and stay tuned because we've got a lot planned. See you next time. Thank you.